Hi everyone, this is going to be a very quick video on how to fix your black screen issue in Drive Club. This worked for me, so give these steps a try and see if it fixes for you as well. So, first step, get system modules of your PS4 and put them in your shared PS4 user folder. To do this, you just get your system modules and then to get a quick access to your shared PS4 folder just go to your search in your own Windows or your search bar and type percentage app data percentage press enter and you'll be taken straight to app data roaming and this is where you find your shared ps4 user folder so you go down a bit shared ps4 sys underscore modules and you extract here your package that contains all of the system modules this is the first thing you need to try. The second thing is the following. Go back one step to shed PS4 then you have this file here, here called config.toml. You just open it, you can use notepad or notepad++, I use notepad++ for this. You just open it and you'll see two options here that you need to take it into account. This direct memory access and these readbacks. If for you a black screen appears, try putting these first to true. This one, just a secondary option, but try to put readbacks equals to true. Then if you do this, just give it a try and then start Drive Club and if, if everything is working alright, we'll just get into the game. So, let's wait a bit. Yeah. You have the game up and running, to we'll skip the menu and just well just show everything here right here as you can see. And let's close this. Now if even after this the game still has a black screen, here's another tip for you. Open the game, the shed PS4, and go to your drive club and check here on the right side the version of it. If you if you have zero 1.00 then you need to find the update file for this game you need to find the package and make sure that it is this version 01.28 try updating it and see if it works now if it doesn't do let me know in the comments I'll try to find some more solutions for you but yeah try these three steps system modules readbacks and updating the game's version. If this helped you, give a like and if you want more content subscribe and see you all in another video. Bye!